Hi, I'm Ben from Sundowner RV. Hi Arlo, hi Gus. <laughs> so I've got a couple of helpers for my video today. One of the questions that I get asked constantly is, should I be putting lithium batteries in my caravan? I wish it was a really simple answer and I could just say yes or no, whatever. It's not that simple and it's really hard to find clear, easy to understand information uh, Googling or wherever you look. So today what I'm going to try and do is give you not a detailed but a general overview of lithium batteries and the associated components that we would normally put in with them and why you would or you wouldn't put lithium batteries in your caravan. So come into my caravan, let's have a sit down and let's talk about lithium batteries. Okay, here we are, where I like to be, in my club lounge. So, I think the first thing is to have a little bit of a general understanding of why you wouldn't, would or wouldn't use lithium batteries. The benefits of lithium batteries are that for the same amount of space and the same amount of weight, you can store a lot more power. So, they're more efficient in terms of the use of space and the weight that you're carrying. The negative aspect to them is that they're very much more expensive than the standard AGM batteries. So normally in caravans these days, the standard battery is an AGM, and then if you want to upgrade to something better, you would go to lithium, all right? So lithium gives you the ability to have a lot more stored power in your caravan for use when you're not connected to 240 volts. So the first question I ask my customers is, how are you going to use your caravan? If you're going to be in primarily in caravan parks and you're going to have 240 volts available to plug the caravan in, really there's no point in you having lithium batteries. It's a waste of money. So just stick with the one or two AGM batteries and you're great. And, and then if you do want to do the odd night free camping, it's not a problem. You've got enough power there. Lithium batteries are going to be really good if you're going to do a whole lot of free camping. You're going to go and want to stay down on the river for a week or for two weeks and be completely off grid and still be able to use things like the microwave, the air conditioner, the hair dryer, charge up your laptop computer, things like that, then you're really going to get the benefit of lithium batteries. All right. I think probably the easiest way to explain a system that I think makes sense will be the system that I'm planning on putting on my caravan that's getting built for me at the moment. So what I'm putting in is, putting in is two 150 amp hour lithium batteries. Now let me explain how much power that gives me compared to the AGMs. So in a normal lithium battery you can use about 80% of the stored power. In an AGM battery you can use about 50% of the stored power. So normally we would have one or two AGM batteries. Let's talk about two. So if we've got two 120 amp hour AGM batteries that will give me 50% use, so that'll give me 240 amp hours of battery storage and 120 amp hours of usable power. With the lithium batteries, I'm going to have 300 amp hours of stored power, and I can use 80% of that, so that's going to give me 240 amp hours of usable power. So it's going to give me double what I'm getting out of the AGM batteries. What does that equate to in terms of actually being able to do things with the power. If it's, we're talking about LED lights, TV, radio, um, it's not that big of a deal um, because they don't use that much power. If you want to run the air conditioner, it's a really big deal. They use a lot of power. Microwave, that uses a lot of power. Hair dryer, heaps of power. Charging your computer laptop, not so much power, a bit of power. So if I want to run the air conditioner with my 300 amp hour lithium batteries, my expectation is that the air conditioner would run for one to two hours and then the batteries from full will be completely flat. So it's not all of a sudden I can just do everything as if I'm plugged into the 240 volt power, but it does mean I can use things like the air conditioner but not for extended periods of time. I could put you know, another two more 150 amp hour lithium batteries and then I could run the air conditioner for three, four, something like that hours. All right. It's not a big deal for me, but for some people they do want to be able to set their caravan up to do that. Some people have CPAP machines that need 240 volts to run. So a lithium battery is going to be preferable for them over AGM batteries. So with the setup that I'm talking about, we're talking about two 150 amp hour lithium batteries. That'll give me 240 amp hours of usable power. Now, 
one of the things to consider is how do I get enough power into those batteries? So I'm going to put three 170 watt solar panels on the roof, so 510 watts of power. So when the sun's shining, that's my maximum power going into my battery. So that's going to charge them up fairly quickly, but I need a lot of power to charge up those batteries. Whenever I'm towing, I'm going to get power from the car, so that will charge them. And whenever I plug into 240 volts, that's going to charge the batteries up as well. So I think that's a reasonable system. But if I'm going to stay out endlessly, definitely more solar would be better. There's not a right or wrong amount, but I think that combination, from my experience, will work really, really well. Um, now, talking about charging from the car, particularly with new cars, they have smart alternators in them. So they're set up so that when the car's battery gets full, the alternator turns off and that saves fuel for the car. The problem with that is, that's terrific, using less fuel, but at that point, the car's not going to be properly charging the caravan's battery. So the way that we overcome that is we put in a DC to DC charger. So I'll be putting in one of those, and that tells the alternator in the car, it's mounted in the caravan, but it tells the alternator in the car, oh, I need to keep putting power through in order to charge the caravan's batteries. So I've got the two batteries, I've got the DC to DC charger. Now I'm also going to do an upgrade on my 240 volt charger, so that when I am plugged into 240 volts, I've got a lot more power going into the battery. So I'm going to put in a 40 amp charger without a fan in it, so it's not noisy and that'll help charge my batteries up quickly when I do have the opportunity to plug into 240 volts. Um, the other thing that's quite important with lithium batteries is to understand that a lithium battery's voltage pretty much stays the same until it's running right out of power and then it suddenly drops. Whilst with an AGM battery, the voltage on the battery will drop gradually as the amount of stored power in the battery drops. So with an AGM battery, yeah, with an AGM battery, I can look at the voltage meter and say, oh yes, voltage is down to 12.2, I know my stored capacity is getting low. With the lithium battery, the voltage is going to stay basically the same, and then all of a sudden it's going to drop. So I've got no indication from the voltage of how much power is stored in the batteries. And for that reason, I'm putting a battery monitor in. And the one that I'm doing uh, has got a gauge, which will be in the cupboard, and it's also got an app for my phone so that I can actually see on the phone how much power is going in, how much power is going out, how much stored power is in the battery. And it actually calculates the amount of power stored in the battery um, based on in, out, and a loss factor as well, which it calculates. Um, now, the other thing that I'm putting, which is, it depends what you want to do with your lithium batteries, but a really good thing to do is I'm putting an auto switching inverter. So 2000 watt auto switching inverter. So what that means is that if I unplug the 240 volts from the caravan, take the cord out, I'm going to have 240 volts throughout my caravan coming from my batteries. So um, that means I turn on the air conditioner, it works, microwave works, everything works. Obviously I have to be mindful that if I start using my air conditioner or microwave, I'm going to flatten my batteries pretty quickly. But it means all my, pow all my power points will have 240 volts regardless of whether I'm plugged into power or not. So I think as a combination that works really, really well. So the things to talk about are the batteries, the amount of solar panels, DC to DC charger, battery monitor, the 240 volt charger for the batteries to get that power in there quickly when you are plugged in, and some sort of inverter to take the voltage or the power from the batteries back up to 240 volts for use with 240 volt appliances. So that's just a really brief overview. We can go into much more detail, uh, but not today. So hopefully that helps give you an understanding of why you might or might not want lithium batteries for your caravan.